And we were first to alert you to a potential heat wave a week ago, and today is day one of an expected heat wave. We made it to 92 at Bradley International. We're forecasting 93 tomorrow, 94 on Thursday. And we do remain in alert mode here through Thursday because of the high heat and humidity. Feels like temperatures in the 95 to 100 degree range. So a heat illness certainly possible. Take it easy outdoors and hydrate frequently. The uh, calendar may say September, but it certainly is going to be hot out there. Heat advisory are already posted for most of Connecticut for Wednesday and Thursday. So this heat continues right into the end of the week. It felt like summer outside this evening. It was a great night to enjoy the sun uh, set. Glenn sent this picture in of the sun setting over Columbia Lake. Really a beautiful uh, scene there. And Steve sent this picture in from South Glastonbury. Those high clouds really made for a dramatic sunset. Lots of color across Connecticut tonight. Certainly a nice night, but we have a, a nice view of the moon here on our ICAM. In Hartford, 77 in our capital city right now. It's calm. Fog is going to be a bit of an issue in some locations too. Patchy fog develops. And it's also just so humid outside. We have so much moisture in the atmosphere right now. Here's a live look in our iCam in Old Saybrook. Skies are mostly clear, uh, and there's the moon again. So uh, tonight, about 65 to 70 degrees away from the shoreline. Along the sound, temperatures will be in the lower 70s. And then we warm things up quickly tomorrow. In fact, we could be outpacing uh, today by tomorrow morning, 82 at 10 a.m., near 90 by lunchtime, topping out in the uh, 90 to 95 degree range away from the shoreline, upper 80s to near 90 along the shore. There's this area of low pressure off to the uh, east. We have high pressure building in from the west and high pressure is really the dominant feature here over the next several days. On Thursday, we watched this front approach from the west. We are expecting a dry day locally Thursday, although there could just be a brief shower somewhere in far western Connecticut late Thursday evening if this front gets closer. But the trend has actually been for the front to be a bit slower on arrival. That will bring back the risk for showers and storms. Humidity remains borderline oppressive starting uh, tomorrow right through Thursday to Friday, Saturday into Sunday. A very muggy stretch here on tap for the next several days and it certainly feels tropical locally the tropics themselves quite active too here's tropical storm lee uh, currently again a tropical storm wind speeds of about 50 miles an hour but the forecast for lee is is interesting because as it moves to the west northwest it's expected to strengthen topping out as a major hurricane a category four hurricane and what we have to watch closely is the track it takes after this does it recurve back out to sea or does this pose a risk to the east coast of the United States. We, of course, will continue to monitor that. Tomorrow, high temperatures 90 to 95 inland, upper 80s, near 90 at the shoreline. Records tomorrow, uh, Hartford area 96, probably safe. Bridgeport 92, most likely safe. And then uh, for Thursday, 93 for the Hartford area. We expect that to fall. 91 in Bridgeport, that one will be close. It could be safe, uh, depends on just how hot things get on Thursday. But it does look like our heat will peak Thursday. There's our first alert uh, icons here on Wednesday and Thursday. That's when we're through alert mode. Records possible, 94 inland Thursday, 89 at the shoreline. By Friday, isolated storms and any storms that fire on Saturday will Will likely be isolated in nature too, perhaps a bit more scattered or widespread on Sunday with just a little bit of relief next week as temperatures settle back in the 70s. 